John Malkovich, everybody. John Malkovich. Very nice to see. You. I haven't seen you in some time. Uh, it's been a while. Three years. I three years. Yeah. yeah. I I feel that it's been too long, John. Really, I yes. do. I I'm I'm very glad you're back, and I very much like your jacket. Thank you very it's, much. It's it's light and summery, even although it's now October. Yes, it is October. Yeah. 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 But it's not really white, though. No, no, it's, it's light, 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 light. Yeah. yeah. It has a. It's nice, and your pants are light. Are you wearing white shoes? Because it's after Labor Day. No. No, no, you're all right. <laughs> no. I have rules about that yeah. kind of a thing. Huh. On this. Now, tell me about the Changeling film. What uh, is it? Um, is it about a Changeling? Uh, it, in a way, it's about a Changeling. It's about a true case that took place in Los Angeles in 1928, mm -hmm. uh, where a woman, a single mother, was called Christine Collins. Her child uh, disappeared, and they didn't know if he was kidnapped or had run away or what exactly had happened to him, and. Uh, about, I think, five months later, a boy was found uh, in DeKalb, Illinois, who said he was her son, Walter Collins. Right. And they brought him back on the train, and the LAPD made a huge sort of publicity op of it. And she took one look at him and said, but that's not my son, because Good he... Lord was uh, several inches shorter than her son, oh. looked nothing like him. There was a circumcision question you'll be happy to There's hear. There's always a also, circumcision yes, question. Somewhere lingering. Yeah, yeah. Hey, a movie's not a movie unless you got a <laughs> circumcision. Got yeah. yeah, certainly I've never done one. Right. Have you, well, there's an interesting thought. Uh, do you um, wear your cap to dinner, as it were? Uh, yeah. I, I too. <laughs> uh, but... Is that, is that the appropriate greeting between two uncircumcised men? <laughs> I think, I'm sure we I can think know. of something more uh, yeah. informal. Elegant. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, it's very nice to see you. Though. Now, you're still living in France. No. Oh, uh, you moved back. Yeah, I have a little um, uh, tax dust-up with the... Uh, oh, with the French. The French authorities. Oh, you got to be careful yeah. with the French, yeah. Uh, this year I got a bill, I was directing a play in Paris, right. which I was also producing. So I probably lost, let's say, in total maybe 100,000 euros, say. Right, okay. which is what, about 40 bucks? Uh, <laughs> uh, about 48 Four, bucks. 48 dollars, um, right? Yeah. Uh, as a producer of the play. I made as a salary against that 25,000 euros. Right. Okay. This is about three. My tax bill? Yeah. 29,000 euros. Well, that doesn't make any sense at all. No. No. I mean, you just... Did uh, you tell the French authorities? I that? did. I, I said, you know, Elvis is dead. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't follow that one. Uh, well, Elvis, Elvis was famous. You should. You're, you're a U.S. citizen. Now, yeah, so. yeah, I know. I am. Uh, yeah. I, I knew he was dead. I, yeah. No, I didn't know he was dead. And no, he no. really is dead. Yeah, no, I know, yeah. I know that. Yeah. Uh, Although I saw him in a 7-Eleven. Yeah. But let's yeah. not go into it. I think in the 70s, he was charged something like a dollar eight for every dollar he made. Wow. So... Yeah. Do, do you, now, so, you got, no, I'm no longer living. No, you... So, are the French after you? Are you on the, on the no, lamb? No. No, <laughs> no, I'm not on the lamb. Right. It's, uh... No, it'll go to court, and there'll be a trial, and that'll in take years. In French? Uh, yeah. That's not yeah. fair. Right there, you get no. a dismissal. Because yeah. you, you, it's not no. your first language, That's right? That's right. Right, so yeah. out, out right. it goes, mister. Get rid of it. Out right. it goes. Yeah. That's good. So you, you're back in America? Yeah. Well, their loss is our gain. Where are you living now in America? Uh, outside of Boston. I like yeah. Boston. Yeah, I've nice. just been there, yeah. yeah. It gets cold in the winter, though. Very cool. Yeah. But I, I'm on the road a lot, traveling a lot. And really? Yeah. Uh, last winter I was just there a little bit because I was in South Africa a long time. In Ooh, Australia. that? Did you go on a safari when you were there? No. Uh, I, <laughs> no, I wish I were on a safari. And sometimes I felt... Well, I can't say that. No, no, you can. Uh, no, you absolutely can. 
What, what is it? No, I won't. No, come on. No, I really can't. No, it's, it's, um, all, it's, it's really all right. I, I certainly would have preferred to have been on, on a, a safari, safari. Yeah, other it. than doing what I was doing with the people I was doing it I with. Hear yeah. I hear you. Uh, you shouldn't have said that. No. <laughs> Too late now, though, eh? Too yeah, late Too now. late now. Yeah. Well, you know, cat's out of the bag, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would have actually preferred to have been eaten in an African <laughs> watering hole than uh, have been doing yeah, yeah, what yeah, I was yeah, doing. Yeah. Yeah. No, you, you probably shouldn't have said that either. No. Uh, <laughs> that's but, but let's carry on. Well, well yeah, let's yeah. Might as well get it done now. Yeah. Yeah, so um, you were in South Africa. Well, that's warmer in the winter, so right there that's going to be it's, better. Than... It's warm. It's yeah. an absolutely beautiful country. I, I just thought that that part of the trip, I did mention the other part of the right, trip, right, didn't okay. go so well. Right. Uh, that part of the trip I really loved, and then uh, what a few about weeks in Boston? Do you eat, do you eat the um, the fish soup that they have there? They call it chowder. Yeah, um, <laughs> chowder, Charlie, chowder. 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 Yeah. Um, no, I don't. No, me neither. I uh, yeah. I got uh, many years ago when I was working in Morocco. I got uh, hepatitis from shellfish, mm. so I'm a little well. So I say. Yeah. Um, but what was it? It was dirty, dirty needles, really, wasn't it? Dirty needles. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that actually, it sort of gets you over the whole fish thing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, really I, no, I, I enjoy fish. I do. But in a soup, I think it's too much. Like you've just you scooped up some stuff and heated it up. You know, it's like a, yeah. a little hot pond. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't. I don't, I don't like a, I don't, I don't like a hot pond. Well, I don't mind no. a hot pond every now and again, but I don't... No, but I, not to eat. Not to really. eat. No, I, 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 don't, I don't enjoy that kind of thing. What do you eat then? I eat... Uh, well, I try to... I try to eat well. Mm. Uh, I don't always succeed. Yes, are you vegetarian um, at all? No. Okay. No, no. Uh, me, me neither. Uh... Pretty much anything, uh, but not, not, not raw fish. Really? I love a bit of sushi, me. No, no. As long as it's not in soup. Yeah, yeah. You put it in soup, that's, that's it. No, I can't do it. The whole idea is creepy to me. Yeah. Uh, well, well, what about uh, pies? Do you enjoy pies? <laughs> do you mean like mince pies or like sort of English style? Or bakery pies, or... Yeah, I... I think I like, uh, I, mean, I mean, all sorts of pies, you know, sort like... cottage pie. Yeah, co cottage pie. I you love a, a good of, cottage yeah. pie, yeah. Yeah, cottage pie is nice, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know why it's uh, called a cottage pie. Do you, do you have any idea? Yeah, because they make it in a cottage. Oh, in a cottage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I do, what about cooking? What, you should maybe uh, do a cookbook. I did do a cooking show once. Did you really? Uh huh. Which, yeah. which, uh, a friend of mine who who was married to to a very good friend of mine wanted to do a <laughs> cooking show mm -hmm. and asked me to be on her cooking show mm. as her kind of pilot. Weirdly pa enough, the pilot. Yeah, the pilot. Thing. This was and an air cooking not, show. No, 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 no. As the TV pilot. Oh, TV uh, pilot. I'm yeah. terribly sorry. Yeah. No, and, I What's Believe it or not, it wasn't picked up. No. Yeah. The John Malkovich Bakery Hour? Who would want that? <laughs> yeah. Think about it. Huh. Well, yeah, no, maybe you're right. You, you know what you should have done is, is you should have got some, uh, some fish soup in there when you were doing it. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. You didn't want to do that, though. You've got the movie star life going around the world. You don't want to be stuck in one place cooking. Um, well, I don't know. Sometimes I yeah, want to I know, be, I but do. sometimes I don't want to be. No. What about surfing? I always thought you'd be a big surfer. No, uh, I first saw the ocean, I think, when I was probably 50. 50. Um, and I... So you came late to the surfing. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Uh, 
The closest I've ever gotten was a couple of years ago. I was doing a film in Portugal with a Portuguese director mm. who, who That's have where this... they always want to do their films. Yeah, and then weirdly. Like... It's weird like that. And they often live there and oh, were born I know. there. Yeah. Uh, and it was a... I played a... the captain of a ship, if you could believe that. Oh, I do I believe mean, that. Not, yeah. not a cruise I'd want to be on. No, I thought... But uh, the scene was... We were out in the Atlantic, and there were kind of these enormous swells. Right. And I was having a... We were on a lifeboat, and I was having a, a cigarette and talking to a Fox Searchlight because I had directed a film right. that had just been banned that day in England. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, because a, the English believed the powers that be believed that my film showed over a second and a half of a shot of a chicken in distress. Mm. Mm. Well, you know, that's just against the law, buddy. <laughs> yeah. 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 So... What kind of distress was the chicken in? Emotional distress? Well, that, that's sort of the question. How do you know he's not a good actor? Yeah. How, how many chickens have you worked? It, it gets... It, you, you, there you can really get into the metaphysical right, uh, yeah. about that, which I, I don't care to go into. Okay, then, fair enough. So, anyway, I was there on the phone and just this lifeboat going through the swells. Yes. And all of a sudden this Portuguese frogman came over and said that the director had told him that I was fine to swim in this, that I was a great swimmer and I could... I, I was a sort of Olympic level swimmer and I said, well, Lord. if I stopped smoking this and I went out, I mean, I could go four feet right. or <laughs> six feet, but then I would drown. You would drown, yeah. yeah. So, so they only have one chance at the shot. Right. right. So, yeah. right. so yeah. surfing, no, yeah. out of the question. Yeah. Well, I, I, I feel we've all learned something tonight. Yeah. yeah. It's always nice when you come here. John, please don't wait three years until the next time. I'd love to come back. Oh, I'll come back anytime. John Thank Malkovich, you, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> please welcome the lovely John Malkovich, everybody. <laughs> It's lovely to see you again. I feel like it's been a very long time since I've seen you. It has been a while. Yeah, it's been, yeah. It's been almost since the Middle Ages. <laughs> yeah, yes. Two we, years. Yeah, two years. Yeah, yeah. You look nice. That's a lovely Thank rig. You. Thank you. What's the... Uh, is that part of your clothing line, that thing that you do? It is. Really? Mm -hmm. Do you make those? Uh, do I sew them? Yes. Uh, <laughs> no. Do you sew, though? I do so. Really? Yeah, what kind my, of things do you sew? Like patches on my pants and stuff. Like that. <laughs> Come on, you've got to have a bit of money now. You don't have to sew patches on your pants. Well, I kind of do, though. Oh, really? Are you going for that medieval look? Is that the thing? <laughs> have you ever been to one of those places? Uh, no, I was at a medieval fair this summer in Finland. Um, no, that was just Finland. That's just what it's Yeah. 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 You may be right. Really? What, what did they... Yeah. Th were they uh, pretending it was the Middle Ages in Finland? Uh -huh. Yeah. What uh -huh. were the Middle Ages like in Finland, then? Well, they had hot dogs, which I didn't know. Um, they've they've with, always been... Far, yeah, see, yeah. that's the Scandinavians. They've always been further yeah. ahead than us. Yeah, yeah. they had... <laughs> They had little trinkets they made, you know, amulets and jewellery and... Uh, some, Ikea torture equipment. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Some nice knives, stuff oh, like yeah, that. Yeah, and yeah. they were all dressed medieval style. Yeah. I'm not, sure that I, I'm not sure that I would have enjoyed the Middle Ages. I mean, I enjoyed the reenacting the Middle Ages, but mm. I, I don't know that I would care for it. I don't think so, because the whole toilet thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. Also, yeah, no. um, I thought you were allowed to do that in medieval times. Apparently not. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. No, no, no. And it wasn't kind of sent away to sea in medieval times or no. retreated. It just kind of was there. I love the way you the said street. that, though. It's sent away to sea, like, you know, you have a number two and then 
Yeah. Usher it off. <laughs> so long! Don't forget to write. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have a great trip! <laughs> no, no, no. Where are you living now? Are you still in uh, Boston? Yeah, we, we were living outside of Boston, but now both our kids are in college, so I think we'll go back to, to Europe to some extent now that they're in college. But most of the time I'm on the road, so really? always moving, yeah. What are you, are you like yeah. making films? Uh, <laughs> I'm still making the occasional film. Film, yeah, yeah. Then I was doing a couple of operas. Um, yeah. Are you a singer? Um, no. Okay. Um, Here's, I, I've got to have to tell you something. It's almost essential that you be able to sing to <laughs> appear in an opera. <laughs> How do you do it then? Um, well, the first opera was about uh, an Austrian serial killer, very well known in Austria, a guy called Jack Unterweger, mm. who had murdered a woman, a young girl, when he was about 15. Then he was sentenced to life imprisonment and he started his own kind of campaign to get himself out of prison as one does. Um, and he maintained that he had been rehabilitated, that he right. had studied writing and he actually got out of prison, wrote novels, plays. He became a very famous journalist in Austria, in particular for covering a series of prostitute murders, most of which happened right outside of Vienna in the Vienna woods. And he became the kind of police go-to person and wrote uh, many, many articles about it and became very f famous in Austria. He was always on right. television. Then they found out, of course, that he was the one murdering the oh. prostitute. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and laugh, Which, why don't you? Yeah. 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 I'm sorry, they're medieval. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Good Lord, that's an yeah. amazing story. Yeah, and then he came out to LA to write. Of course he did. Yeah. Course, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, he had a show. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, he came out to L.A. to write an article for an Austrian magazine about how difficult sort of prostitutes have it out here because they don't have a union and all that kind of thing, which they, they liked very much in yeah. Europe. And, uh, and then, of course, he killed the three women he interviewed out here. Um, He's quite the lad, this yes, guy, isn't he? Yeah. 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 And I, I, you know, he did talk about how difficult their lives were, but I'm not sure they were improved by ending. By ending them. Yeah. But, so uh, do you play this guy in I the do. opera? Mm -hmm. um, and do you say, I'm really crazy, <laughs> and stab people and stuff? <clears throat> no, it's written by a, a Viennese writer and director called Mikael Sturminger. It has uh, just fantastically beautiful Baroque music in it, but all of things, all Baroque music that wasn't from an, a particular opera, they were concert pieces, so all, this, all the arias are connected to the action, and I play the author at his book reading, giving... You do sing then? No, in the next one I will sing. Right. But, but you just kill people in this one. This and one I. Sing and this one I have killed people, and yeah. I'm also. Have you ever actually, you, John Malkovich, killed anyone? Uh, no. <laughs> I had to think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just like, well, yeah. well, there was that. No, not really. Yeah. yeah. I did slip my brother's throat once with yeah. a butcher knife, but um. It's probably an accident, right? Not so much. Okay. No, but uh. Then my mother said, you know, don't kill each other, your brothers. <laughs> um, and that Wise stopped words, everything. Mom, yeah. 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 Wise Thanks words. for that. Yeah. How, uh, how is your brother, though? I think he's okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't... Uh, I haven't talked to him in a bit. You mean from the throat injury? Yeah, well, just yeah. in general, he's... In general, he's okay. Yeah, good. Yeah. I'm, I'm rather relieved to hear it. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. The last thing you want to do in a talk show is call the authorities when the guest <laughs> right. leaves. Yeah. I'm, I'm interested that you get involved in Viennese opera, though. I, I, how does that happen to you? You have such an interesting, kind of tumbly, odd career. Yeah, I do. Um, that happened because 
I have a friend who's a, a Viennese costumer that we had worked together on a film about ah. Klimt, the painter. Oh, yes. And she introduced me. She wanted me to meet a, a fantastic uh, Do you conductor. speak Austrian? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Is this an They Austrian? don't either because they speak German. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> but... Uh, um, Uh, Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> it's my penance. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so she asked me to meet this conductor at the at the Austrian consulate mm. in Brentwood. This is an Austrian consulate yeah. in Brentwood. It's a, I mean, who okay. cares? Yeah. <laughs> So I went with her to dinner one night and met this guy, a conductor, a wonderful conductor called Martin Hasselbuck, who also has an orchestra out here in Los Angeles called Music Angelica. So, does he just have an orchestra? You like? Did they do that? They have orchestras just lying around, like yeah. cars, like they. Well, they uh... like, he's like a two-car family orchestra. Right. Person. So he's got like a, I've he's, got my has two Austrian orchestra, orchestra yeah. which. Sings yeah. in German, and yes. the, uh, but the yes. orchestra don't sing, of course, because they play in. They play in, in German. In German. Yeah. 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 We have to take a break. Um, okay. It's a tradition in American television to, yes. uh, you know, sell products. Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, we'll take a break. When we come back, John Malkovich will be here. Everybody. <laughs> Men's clothing, especially women's clothing, but, but more men's. Mm. Oh. So, excuse me a second. Welcome no. back, everybody. <laughs> I'm here with John Malkovich, who's wearing a, a lovely suit that you didn't make yourself, but I it's designed, in, yeah. made from your own company. Mm -hmm. Do you have your own fragrance? No, I don't. Oh. Yeah. Man, people I mean, want to smell like John Malkovich. Yeah. They do. Like, if they want to smell like Paris Hilton and Kim Kardashian, yeah. they want to smell like you. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> There are a lot of things people want that they probably shouldn't have. <laughs> no. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you just you just named at least two of them. <laughs> <laughs> so let, let me let me ask you. Yeah, all right. Man. All right, peasants. No. Let me ask you, how do you get, let's, putting aside the Austrian opera that you're going to, how, how do you uh, get involved in a clothing business, Ben? If you're a, if you're a kind of well-established, well-respected uh, actor, you uh, suddenly become, you know, a bit more Kathy Lee. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, well, I've always thought of myself as a kind of Kathy Lee. In a way. Um, anyway. Um, <laughs> But, uh, You're teasing me, aren't you, John? <laughs> um, what happened was, after about uh, nine years ago, after September 11th, I got the first plane I could uh, out, of, out of Paris and went back to New York to see friends and mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. And uh, I had a friend there who introduced me to a guy who asked me if I would design a men's line. And, yes, uh, but w why? why? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> well... Hi, I saw, you know, your movie. I really enjoyed it. Would you design a pair of pants for me? <laughs> it's not really... Yeah. Yeah. That was the kind of... Right, in, okay. In your pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, as it were. He's not here! He's I know. I, I see him later. Oh, you'll see him later yeah, in the I'll premiere. I mean, yeah. you mean you'll see him earlier? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I'll s I've already seen him. Thanks. How's, how's yeah, he doing? I've already year? seen him, and it was great. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so th this guy, Francesco, this gentleman, asked me if I would do it, and I thought about it a long time because usually I'm too busy, and that takes up an unbelievable amount of time. Trouser design. Um, not just trousers, but uh, it's suits, sport coats, knitwear, shirts, ties. Underwear? Um, no. no. Why not? Who, who needs it? <laughs> now you really are teasing me, John. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Well, that's 
right. Hey, do you ever watch the Project Runway? Maybe you. Could I do. do. I heard I, you were a fan. I am a fan of the show. I do like. And it. And I haven't. I haven't this year. Who are the people this year? Well, you know Heidi, Tim. You know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the. Uh, <laughs> There's a, they have a designer this year um, who I think is rather clever and talented called Gretchen, but she's a real bitch. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Which Gretchen is it? Do you know? Do um, you remember? I don't, that's the only one I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Gretchen, and then know, there's, a, there's another designer called Mondo who's quite small and he wears tiny little shorts all the time. He's very super talented, but a little uh -huh. weird. Yeah, yeah. You, the, might, you might get along with yeah, him, actually. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm sure I would. You do, uh, do you, your friends seem like a, an eclectic bunch of people, you know, uh, fashion designers and Austrian uh -huh. opera people, and uh, uh -huh. do you purposely uh, avoid the show business trappings? Do you purposely avoid show business people? No, uh, I've met some of the most fantastic people doing the job of being an actor, or a right. director, or a producer, but often what happens is, uh, I travel so much, they travel so much. Uh, oftentimes when I come out here, I'm working the entire time. But I, I have quite a few people in, in the movie industry or, or theater industry that I'm really fond of and mm. stayed in touch with over the years. But it's not easy in our business because no, we're it's, always it's on the road. It's a funny business as well because it kind yeah. of encompasses a, a lot of things. I mean, you've got you know very interesting, intelligent people and then you've got complete douches running. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> they walk the same carpet. They're the same, you know. They walk yeah, yeah. the same red carpet. They kind of, mm -hmm. ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, so it's a very, it's a very odd, wide uh, spectrum. Yeah, it is, people. and it's just hard to, hard to stay in touch. And and really, I was probably on the road, pretty close to three hundred days this year. The that's, that's too much. You want to, yeah, you want to yeah. stay home a little more. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now, would you, do you fancy an awkward pause? Yes. Should we, should we do an awkward pause? I mean, yeah. you, you can handle it. You're, you know, you're a very talented actor. You no. <laughs> you're already doing it? That was really good. See, that wasn't so painful. That, that, that was really good. I, like, I didn't even see it coming. I was like, what? And then suddenly it was awkward and we were pausing. Now, any message from me to Jeff that, uh, that I already gave? That you already see Jeff Peterson? Yeah. Um, now, just slap him really hard in the face. Okay. It, it'll hurt your hand, though. He's bony. Yeah. It's okay. I'll yeah. do it. Yeah. No, yeah, I, I, think, I think you'll like him. I'm sure. He looks Easy. pretty funny. They showed me in the thing back. You could put him in a your opera about serial killers. I could. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He could play one of the singers, actually. Oh. You sound rather pleased about that, isn't it? Yeah. No, not so much. Mm. I'd quite like to be in an opera about serial killers. Can I be in it too? Sure, why not? All right, because I can do a serial killer. Yeah. Oh, I can. Put the you would in the be... basket. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You would actually be great in it, because uh, sadly enough, uh, it's mostly stand-up, is what it is. Weirdly enough. Yeah. Are you sure yeah. this is an opera or you're just yanking my chain about something? This really um, happened? Yeah. Uh. It toured all over Europe this spring, summer, and in just... Uh-oh. You're with me, aren't you? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You can look it up. Man. All right, then. Really? All right, well, we're out of time, Jim. All right. Which I feel uh, uh, very badly about. But you have to go and uh, go to this premiere of this movie. Yeah. Uh, the, earlier on. Yeah. yeah. I, I've been there. You've been there, but you better... Now I, ha I better go back. You, you better go back to it yeah. and do it, yeah. do, do it again. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The adorable John Malkovich, everybody. Really right. Whenever I, whenever I meet a beautiful woman, I kind of just go <laughs> like that. It really works for me. That's how women in my company know they're beautiful. If I spout complete nonsense, they're like, I think he likes me. It's your